Okay, so we're going to go ahead and weed this out and basically um, I've already pre-cut this. It just makes life easier. Um, but I'm just taking it, kind of yank this stuff off here. Some people pull from the left, some people pull from the right. Whatever works the best for you. I'll do it back and forth. It don't matter to me. So let's see if I can pull it down here so you can see a little better. But this one here, I took out a bigger chunk than the last one. And I've actually already done a couple of these. This one I just got the camera set up for. If you can see my registration marks in there, and I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a second here. Just takes a second or so to weave this. And see, I started ripping off my five there, so you got to kind of watch that as you're doing your weeding that you don't rip your letters off you end up making more I know some of you may think that this is pretty simplistic and goofy but um, you know it's all about inside my shop <laughs> and I want to show you guys how I do some of this stuff if you're interested in going out and buying a vinyl cutter, um, I'll put some links up on the website to do that. Okay. Now I've got uh, several different types of things that I use to do my weeding here. And, uh, doing these videos by yourself sometimes sucks, but uh, we'll get past that now, won't we? Okay, this here is a um, standard set of tweezers. Okay, and these are my uh, tweezers that I bent on the ends. And you'll be able to see the difference in the weeding here on which one works the best. But if you go down into here, it just takes a little bit more to, to peel that out. Okay still works. Usually on the larger projects I'll just use my knife but when you start getting into the smaller ones um, so I'll turn this around a little bit get into these smaller ones I'll, uh, I'll use the tweezers. And I'll show you that one here in just a second. Okay, let's throw that off to the side there. Okay, now these are my uh, ones that I bent, made for, made myself, so tell it just reaches right in there, pulls it right on out. Yeah, I know there's people that do it with a knife all the time. If you ever wonder how some of these uh, signs are cut and made, this is basically it. Not a whole lot to it getting the settings correct on your vinyl cutter so it doesn't cut all the way through here. Um, that's just some settings on the, the, the vinyl cutter itself for the depth of the knife blade. We're talking thousands of an inch here that they're cutting. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the camera up to do the uh, transfer tape and then show you how I do the uh, registration marks for installing it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the uh, uh, transfer tape here. As you can see, I don't have anything fancy. Let's take and stick that edge. Lay it down there flat. <coughs> Make her good and tight. And take and cut the excess off. Run the squeegee over it a couple times. Make sure it's on there nice. Good. 
coming out of Arizona, the heat's an issue with this transfer tape and the, the tape sometimes. But uh, basically, in order to put your put the registration marks on there, I uh, really should just take a straight edge and put it right on the uh, crosshair for the registration marks. Line that up. This is just a paint shield that I have, and it's just handy. Wants a nice straight edge and um, easy to clean and stuff. You can just take and turn yourself a straight line. It's not so important in the metals, not on this point, as the edges there. Okay, I'm going to do one here. Just line up those registration marks. And believe me, a sixteenth of an inch, even a thirty-second of an inch on a long run will make a difference, but a sixteenth of an inch, even on a short run, will make it the difference between crooked and straight. I can see it. Customers can see it. Okay. So, basically, I got my registration marks where I'll go through, and if this was a board or whatever, or uh, I'm sorry, the sign that I'm going to put this on, then I'd have a piece of tape measuring my marks and where I want this centered up. There you go. You've got a sign ready to stick. I got a couple more of these to do, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the film and um, then I'm going to do some videos of uh, installing it and show you what I mean by the registration marks and the easiest way to set those up. Here's a couple I did yesterday. and. Um, they're all exactly the same and they'll go at different locations on this project. So, see you next time.